Porn fam, welcome back to another highly anticipated banger video. Today I'm bringing you guys my updated hair tutorial. Now since the last one, my hair's gotten way longer. My routine switched up just a little bit and the way I apply it is a little bit different as well. Y'all have been asking for this video for the longest and I feel like now is the best time to bring it to you guys. The clips you guys are about to see after this intro is actually from this morning. It was before this clip right here and that was when I had my bed head. You know, I was looking terrible. So you guys got to see me transform from bed head form to curly head form. So if you guys are ready, make sure you guys smash the like button. Let's get 10,000 likes. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe hit that bell too so you notify whenever i post a video make sure you guys stay tuned without further ado man let's go all right y'all so now we're in the bathroom this is how it look when i just wake up you know what i'm saying hair looking real crazy but yeah i got up got dressed put my foreign forever shirt on link in the description basically i'm gonna show you guys my hair tutorial and i'm gonna show you guys the products that i use and if you guys have similar hair like me man you know what i'm saying just naturally curly it looks messed up right now but you know what i'm saying naturally curly hair if you have straight hair hair that doesn't have texture to it it's just straight and that's it and this won't work for you as I can tell right now, it looks super dry. Like I said, I just woke up. The only thing I did to it was kind of fluff the sides out. When I wake up, it's like a mohawk. It just makes it real flat and it looks like a mohawk. So kind of like this. So what I just do is I go like that. That's the first thing I do when I wake up. Next thing I do is either get in the shower or if I already showered the night before, which in this case, I showered last night, then I will just get up and just wet my hair in the sink. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The first product that I use is this Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. This product works really well. It moisturizes your hair, keeps it moisturized the whole day. So that's why I use that. The next product you're gonna need is the Cantu Moisturizing Curling Cream. This product right here I put in right after the Leave-In Conditioner because it just makes it extra curly and defined. The Leave-In Conditioner just makes it moisturized. It doesn't really curl your hair that much. But this curling cream right here, make sure y'all go get this because, bro, it works wonders. It starts the formation of the curls before you put in the next product, which is actually the gel. And I had just got back into using gel because in the Past, I used to use the Eco Green Cap Gel and it used to leave my hair flaky, crunchy, all that bad stuff. So what I have right here, I have two gels that I just recently found that work for me. And the first one is the Cantu Moisturizing Curling Twist Gel. And then the other one is the Black Cap Eco Gel. And it works best for me, man. So those are the gels I use. Other than that, man, what you're gonna need is a hair tie to keep your hair up and a brush if you guys wanna like brush your cut down or whatever the case may be. And then last but not least, you're gonna want a towel, all right? But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair right now and I'm gonna just show y'all what it looked like when I wet my hair. So I know the lighting looks pretty bad right now, but the next step I'm gonna do is just drench my hair. Make sure it's not too hot, make sure the water is not too cold. Just get the water in there all the way. Let's just go ahead and fast forward that, man. Alright, so, so now that my hair is damp, once you get it wet, you kind of want to like wring out most of the water because you don't want it dripping all over your clothes. And that's where the towel comes in, man. So just in case if you get any product dripping down in your clothes or any water dripping down, if you're going out somewhere nice, make sure you have that towel. And that's really the only reason why you're going to need this towel. But first things first, man, you're going to want to shake up your hair because right now it's looking kind of crazy, uneven, all that good stuff. So I like to go sideways and then sideways this way. So kind of like shake your head like that and like this as well. So I'm gonna just do that right quick. It's not gonna shake perfectly right now without the product in there, but you know what I'm saying? You kind of get the point. It's kind of like getting there. So just shake it up a little bit until you kind of like the way it's looking right now. I got a little straight hair is coming out. I gotta just take them out. I basically need an all around trim on the next haircut I get, but you know what I said, we all straight. But first things first, we're gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner. Like I told y'all, this is a must if you want your hair to look moisturized throughout the whole day. Just get a little amount like about like that much for my hair. I see a lot of people on YouTube when they do the hair tutorials, like they put a whole handful in their hair and they have less hair than me. That's outrageous in my opinion, but to each his own. But I get about that much, rub it in my hands, get like that. And then here's the key part, add a little bit of water to it so it spreads evenly throughout your hair. I find with me at least when you put it just through in your hair like this, it kind of doesn't get through your hair evenly. But when it's more like liquidy, I guess you could say, then it gets through more even. So I'm gonna just wet my hands right quick, rub it through just like that and just go crazy man apply it to the roots first if you need to add more add more later but apply it to the roots first all right because sometimes people have them dandruff and dry flakes coming off their hair when you pick it because your scalp is always dry it doesn't really get the conditioner to it because most people just apply it, conditioner to the ends that's just stupid so now that i applied it to my root to my hair now what i'm gonna do is get a little bit more of that like that much and just apply it to the ends bro add a little bit more water to it just like that just applies to the outside. There's no need to go back to the roots anymore because your boy already hit that. Alrighty then. But I just apply it like this. That's all I do. Just gotta go like that. Sometimes I do this as well. To be honest, I don't really need this towel no more because my hair is not dripping. So take the towel off. It's just holding me back, to be honest. Shake it, you know what I mean? Just shake it, son. Yeah, boom, it's looking pretty nice. Oh, another thing with me, the front and the back of my head get way more curly than the back, and I think that's because I can't really see the back. So if you have a family member or a friend around you at any time, when you're doing your hair or when you go out, be like, yo, does my back look cool, whatever. Most of the time when I'm out, it's trio because we go out a lot. 
pause. But if I'm at the crib, I just ask my mom and she'll let me know if it looks straight. But you want to rub it in till there's no more white. And like I said, this is just a conditioner, so it's not really going to make the curls look defined. It's just going to make it mostly look moisturized. As y'all can see, that looks really good. It looks moisturized, healthy, all that good stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and shake it like that. You know what I'm saying? Just get that all the way through, get that shape coming in. Now that I'm done with the conditioner, I'm going to just rinse off the remaining product on my hands and get straight to the curling cream, which is one of my favorite products, man. I've been using it for a long time. Let's get it. Now that I am done with the conditioner, I don't need any more conditioner. These products last me a long time because as you guys can see, I don't go crazy with it. I don't need to go crazy with it. My hair is naturally curly. So therefore, I don't need to use handfuls and handfuls of product. These last me months. All right, this right here, these last me months. But anyways, go ahead and shake it up. Pause. Go ahead and shake up the curling cream. Get it to the bottom. I get about that much. That's really it. But I don't really need too much. That might even be a little bit more than what I would normally do. Just rub it in your hands like that. Get it nice and even just like that and then just like the last product add a little bit of water to it just so it just gets through your hair nice and even so I'm gonna go ahead and do that add water and then just apply it. now with this product I don't need to apply it to the roots because it's not really for that purpose so what I like to do I like to just go like this just get my hair up just kind of go like that make sure I get it all the way through my hair but as y'all can see it's getting like longer the curls are getting loose with this product it really stretches the curls all the way so if your curls are normally like this which it will go back to that because your hair shrinks after you're done when it dries if you're black or if you have hair like this but your hair is going to shrink when you're done so if your hair is normally like right here when you're done with it it's going to be where it's at right here with me right above your eyebrows i hate shrinkage to be honest but it is what it is most people have it but yeah i just like to rub this in and so i don't see any more white if i need to i'll add some more water which i'm about to right now also i like to get all the excess hair that's coming off my head into my hands off with that water as well just so i'm not adding the dead hair back to my hair you know what i'm saying hopefully i'll get what I'm trying to say. As y'all can see, it's starting to come together. Like I, like I said, I got like little dead hairs right here. It comes out easy. You don't want to take the dead hair and put it back into your head because that's pointless. It's just going to keep backing it up and it's going to make it hard for your hair to grow. So every once in a while, pick out your hair. You know what I'm saying? I pick out my hair like once every three weeks, once every month. I know that sounds like it's not a lot, but the more you pick out your hair, it makes it hard for the curls to come back. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll just get in the shower, put some conditioner and the curls are back popping. But for most people and for me, sometimes when my hair is not working with me, it takes like two days for the curls to come back. With that being said, we're moving on to the gel, you know what I'm saying? To make the curls real defined. As y'all seen, I had two. I don't use both, I just use one. And today I'm gonna go with the Eco because I find that the Eco really holds the curls in all day and it makes it way more defined without making them crunchy or like flaky and all that good stuff. I mainly use the Eco when I'm going out somewhere nice and you feel me, I just use the Cantu whenever I'm about to like film or just chill. So I'm gonna take some of this gel right now. Take about like that much right there. And same with the other products, rub it in like that and then add a little bit of water to it. All right, so now that I added the water, I'm gonna just apply it all the way. And like I said, start with a little bit of product so that you can just add more to it, you feel me? You don't wanna put too much and then you gotta like take it out with the other product. So I just apply it like this. You can apply it any other way you guys want, but I just go like this, as y'all can see. Just shake it up some, the curls is coming in. Again, this is how I do my hair. Other people may do it different, but if you guys want the hair just like how I do it, just follow these steps, bro. You might think these steps are different. You might think these steps are wrong, but bro, no steps are wrong. It's all your preference, it's all your hair type. So if you have your my type of hair type, this will work for you, bro. I feel like the back of my hair didn't get enough, so I'm going to get a little bit more. And I'm not going to add water this time because I'm not trying to distribute it through my whole head. So just straight gel and then just apply it to the back. I feel like that's better now. So I'm going to shake it. Shake it up. You know what I'm saying? Shake it up. Do a little... <laughs> I know I'm cringy, but just chill. All right, don't, you don't gotta tell me in the comment section. All right, so now that I got all the products in my hair, this is where the towel also comes back in. Dry your hands, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everything off and then throw that to the side. So now all these products right here, we don't need any of these no more. Now at this point, this is where the headband or hair tie comes in. I'm gonna just put it like right here, shake my hair up a little bit, and I'm basically gonna just rock it like this until it dries. So after like about an hour or two, once it's fully dry, I'm gonna come back to y'all, show y'all how it's looking. But yeah, right now it's looking pretty cool the longer my hair gets the harder it gets to work with to be honest like it gets too long to where the curls start curling together and they start to dread especially in the back so i definitely need to trim it on the next cut so i can just work with it better yeah i'm gonna just hit you guys in like an hour or two when it's dried up and i'm gonna show you guys the finished product so hopefully you guys did enjoy smash the like button if you're new if you're still watching this video and uh, subscribe man new videos every wednesday friday and sunday 3 p.m pacific standard time y'all already know the drill man with that being said man i'm gonna catch you guys in two hours so let's go two hours later all right y'all so 
now that my hair is dry, this is how it looks, man. You know what I'm saying? I think it looks really nice. The shape of it overall, how it looks, how it comes down right above my eyebrows is perfect. That's exactly how I like it. So that is all I do to get my hair just like this, y'all. Just do the products that I did. I mean, there's still a little bit of white stuff in my hair, but you know that that's easy to take out. You just rub it with your fingers. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys let me know by smashing the like button. Like I said, if we can get 10,000 likes, it'll be greatly appreciated. If y'all want to make sure y'all subscribe. Also, we on the road to 500k. But yeah, man, thank you guys again for watching the video. It's been your boy, Form Boy, Rock Out Like G. Have a one time. Yeah. Yeah. We out.